of mine. Mm -hmm. So, Kwan, when we yeah. first called you about being on Noon Talk, the Lord have put you on our hearts. Mm -hmm. And I remember us having a conversation about the Lord's been talking to you about prospering. And mm -hmm. I just was like, oh my God, we need to prosper. We I, That is just a, season, a word in this season, mm -hmm. really and truly. So can you share with us um, what the Lord has put on your heart? Yes, to share absolutely. With us? Yes, so, so like you mentioned, Annette, I'm an author and I'm currently write, writing my next book. And 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 doing the research uh, for the book, it is it is about prospering. It's about building for the Lord. So I'm in real estate, and I'm in the process of building my dream home. And so I am writing according to what I'm learning as I'm going through this process. And the mm -hmm. Lord has just downloaded so many things to me that are not just about real estate and and building a building. But how the Lord wants to use people in this season to build for his kingdom and mm. how that's related to business and how it's related to prospering. And he has just spoken to me so clearly about wanting in this season Christians to prosper. And this is concerning every area of our lives, but mm -hmm. specifically in the area of finances and mm -hmm. having wealth and having abundance. And mm -hmm. the reason is, is because there is a purpose for the wealth of a Christian man and woman. It is for the building of God's kingdom, literally here on earth, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. So it's also about of course, gaining souls to the kingdom, but building the things on earth that God would have us to build. Well, what needs to be built on earth? Group homes for children need to be built um, on earth. Yes, yes. An escape, a shelter for women who are abused needs to be built on earth. Yes. Hospitals for people battling all sorts of diseases, cancers and uh, issues with kidneys and surgeries that need to be taken place. Healing yes. facilities for the Lord needs to be built. Churches need to be built. I don't know if you all know, but there is an epidemic of churches closing, particularly mm -hmm. in the African-American communities where Black churches are closing because the finances aren't there. People left the church and everybody's watching online and people aren't giving as much. So yes. now yes. God wants to prosper his children to be able to give into the church, to be able to build churches and donate land to men and women of God. There are so many things that need to be built on this earth. Um, and we see that the enemy has empowered people to gain wealth that are building all sorts of things that tempt the people of God, like strip clubs, bars mm -hmm. and lounges. <laughs> you know, yes. the, the enemy is building. And now the Lord is saying, I am giving wealth to the people who are going to build according to what I tell them to build here on yes. this earth. And yes. so that is what I'm discovering as I'm writing this book. Um, and I didn't know that the Lord was going to take me in this direction. I thought, you know, I was just going to build my house and I was just going to draw metaphors <laughs> and analogies about how building your own things are the same as building for God. But the Lord said, no, it's deeper than that. My child, sit down and listen to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that sit down part is real because in this season, the Lord is telling so many of us, mm -hmm. peace, be still. Yes. You yes. know that I am God. Yes. The dreams that you have, who do you think gave them to you? Mm. I gave them to you. Just chill out. Be still. Don't be anxious or worried about anything because I am going to do what I said I'm going to do. You just need to wait. You need to be patient. You need to let me groom you. I feel the Holy Spirit Ooh, right. yes. Yes. Girl. Already, already in the name Ooh. of Jesus. Already. 
because there are some people that are getting ready to abort the process. They're getting ready to abort the baby because it's taken too long. Listen, do not miscarry that baby, okay? Mm -hmm. It is the Lord's baby. It is the Lord's wow. baby. It is the Lord's baby. Jesus. He gave it to you for a reason. So sit down, mm -hmm. put your feet up, drink some water, take care of yourself, and let mm -hmm. the God, let the Lord's will be done in your life. He's got you right where he wants you. Mm -hmm. He's got you right where he wants you. And I feel the Holy Spirit on it and I can and wax so po poetically on it because I've been there. I've been there myself. And in many ways, I'm still there. There are certain places, certain areas of my life where I had to be still. I had to be still. And I'm finding that in the stillness, the blessings still come. Yes. In the stillness, there's still joy. I haven't been on social media for, I don't know how long, ladies, a, a few months at least. I used to always be on social media. I couldn't live without it. That's probably why God took it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but to still know that I've been off social media and I still have an abundance of connection mm. and, and an abundance of likes and hearts and love. And love. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. And, yeah. and people seeking me out for my services, I didn't post one ad. I didn't promote not anything, a business, this this second book. I'm not promoting that. And, and I didn't even come on this show to promote it. I'm just merely mentioning what the Lord's saying and what he is saying to the church. Mm -hmm. And those that have an ear, I pray that they hear today in Jesus' name. Wow. Amen. Amen. One of the things that there are a few things that you said that stood out to me and thank you so much. And even before you said, I feel the Holy Ghost, I literally felt the Lord go through the presence of the Lord go through my whole body. But you said, uh, one of the things you did say, excuse me, is you said to be still. God is telling us to walk in this era that he's calling us of abundance of a, and to prosper in the financial, in the finances. He, we've got to learn to be still. And I know Annette and I believe we've been talking about this, that God, is, you can, we're both, both coaches, we're, um, I'm not going to say promoting, but we're kind of seeking God, okay, how do we go about this? And the best way to do it is, I, what I found for myself is to be still. He gave it to us. I didn't just come up with this. Oh, I think I want to do this. But That's it was an right. idea. Yeah, it was an idea of birth or impregnated by the Holy Spirit. And so for us to prosper in that thing, Annette, God is definitely saying, I know he's been speaking to me, is to be still. You want to know how to do this thing to prosper in it? Be still. That's you right. want to know how to you know, product, be still. And so thank you for that reminder, because that is definitely a word the Lord, ha Holy Spirit has been speaking to me. Yes, absolutely, Claudine. And and here and here's the thing, too, because um, as an entrepreneur, I've mm -hmm. been such a go-getter. Um, mm -hmm. I, I come from a family of hustlers. <laughs> you know, I come <laughs> from a family where being still meant you're lazy, that mm -hmm. you're not making things mm -hmm. happen. You know, mm -hmm. when you're being still, nothing's coming to you because you're not making these things, mm -hmm. these things happen. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't come from a, an active Christian family. I came from a family who um, accepted Jesus, but wasn't walking with Jesus. Mm -hmm. I came from um, a family that professed Jesus verbally, but wasn't, wasn't living Jesus physically and spiritually. And so I had nobody to go to but God concerning this. And, and I went to him with it. Lord, tell me, what is the difference between being still and being lazy? Mm. And, and he spoke to me and said, the difference is obedience. The Ooh. difference is obedience. Because if I tell you to do something and you don't do it, then you're being lazy. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. And, okay, and wait, 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 say that again, please. He said, if I tell you to do something and you don't do it, mm -hmm. then you're being lazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and then he and then he took me to the scriptures, the parable of the talents, mm -hmm. where there was a master that went away, right? He gave his three servants certain, well, in certain translations, they say gold gave them bags of gold, 
five to one, three to another, and mm -hmm. one to another. The mm -hmm. one that had one, you may know this story. He didn't do anything with his master's money. He, he kept it. He was afraid to do anything with it. And when his master came back, all he had was that one. Mm -hmm. And his master is like, wait a second. Why did you could have did you could have put it in the bank and let it collect interest, mm -hmm. but just sit on it and do nothing? And you know what he called that servant? He called him lazy. Yes, he yeah. called him lazy. Wow. And and a lot of people don't understand that to be still. If the Lord is telling you be still, be obedient to that because there's blessings in that. But if He tells you to do something and you don't do it, then you're considered a lazy servant. Mm. And I find it interesting that Jesus drew, and this is in Matthew 25, Jesus drew, drew, drew this parallel between doing this with money and also how people do it with the kingdom of God. And I find mm. that God oftentimes tests us with our money. And what we do with our money is a reflection of what we do in our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And so if God tells us to do something like invest, like be fruitful and multiply, if we don't do it when he tells us to do it, because there's a season for everything, we're not going to plant apple seeds unless it's time to plant, plant the apple seed. There's a season for everything. But when he tells us to do these things, if we don't do it, then we're being lazy. Mm. Wow. Obedience and being lazy. Well, you said that... Um, the difference bet between being still and being lazy is in our obedience. And it reminds me of someone, I don't know who said it recently, it was like delayed obedience is still disobedient. It is. And so God, we want to make sure that we hear your voice, we heed to your voice and do what you tell Amen. us to do. Thank Amen. you. Man. Amen. Whoa. Who? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so much. So one the, another thing that you said, you said, um, and I definitely want you to pray later on about this. He said, we don't want to mis miscarry that baby, that vision the Lord has given us. Can you touch on that as to why or how do we, how does that happen? Mm -hmm. um, you know, how does that, the Lord gives us a dream. We don't, I guess we don't move forward in it. Or what does that mean when you say, don't let that baby miscarry. Don't let that dream, that vision miscarry. Yeah. So oftentimes the Lord would give us something an idea, a dream, a vision, and we receive it. But based on what we do with that seed, dream, vision, idea, we could miscarry it. Now, and, it, and I, it's so strongly connected to listening to God because oftentimes that is one of the ways that we miscarry the baby is not knowing what the Lord is saying concerning this baby. Mm. Um, if, if he is saying, you know, I want you to speak to the baby. I want you to um, invest yes. in the baby. Then, then you do that. But the enemy will come and just throw all sorts of ideas and, and, mm. and thoughts mm. and distractions um, with the intention of making sure that whatever seed God planted in us, that it doesn't bear fruit, that it doesn't come into fruition. And so that's why um, the, the very first chapter of this new book that I'm writing is entitled uh, Forget the Former Things. So you, you have to forget everything that came before what God is doing right now. You have to forget your old way of doing things. You have to forget what mommy, daddy, sister, brother, them said, and, and, and focus on what the Lord is doing right now, because he will walk you through bringing that into manifestation. He will help you to carry that baby until you birth it. If you abide in him, if you abide in him and you stay with him, he will give you strategies. He will give you dreams and visions and words and confirmations when somebody is trying to attack the baby. <laughs> and tell you to pray against this or that and the other. So walking walking with God is, is first and foremost the most important thing to see these things manifest. Also covering it, not talking about these things as you're working on them um, or giving too much information so that yes. you know, the enemy doesn't attack it. I mean, you saw 
um, what Herod tried to do as soon as he found out that Jesus was coming. He yeah. sent all manner of military and folks to try to destroy and to kill the baby once he heard about it. So you have to protect it. You have to cover it. You have to nurture it. You have to grow it. And that means you have to be reading. You have to be studying. You have to be researching. You have to be investing. You have to be praying over it. All these things that people fail to do. And, they, and they're seemingly small things that people just think, oh, if I don't do that, it, it'll still be fine. You know, I'll still give birth to it. God will still, still do it for me. Well, not if you're not being obedient to what he said. If he said study to show yourself approved, then my God, you have got to study. You've got to study. If he said, speak to that mountain, then you got to speak to that mountain. There's a reason why God is telling you this. So oftentimes we abort the baby by not being obedient, by not covering it, by talking about it prematurely, um, by giving it away. I can remember being a young entrepreneur, having a gift that God gave me and an idea and thinking I need a ton of partners to help me to bring it in, <laughs> into manifestation. Yeah. No, the Lord said, don't give the baby away. You and I in this season is good enough. Seek me, seek wow. me first and all these things will be added onto you. Don't mm -hmm. go seek a whole bunch of other people that's going to help you to bring this in manifestation when God said right now is me and you walk with me and I got you. So there, yeah. and there are tons, tons of ways, tons of ways people mm -hmm. miscarry the baby, listening to other people. Yeah. Girl, I don't think that business is going to work in this economy. You're going to buy that house now? Yeah. Look at what the market is doing. Yeah. No, if God said it, do it. If yeah. God said yes. it, do it. Be obedient. Carry the baby. Mm -hmm. Feed it the right things. Don't feed it the negativity of the yeah. world. Um, mm -hmm. The Lord also spoke to me about the news and how it's keeping God's people in bondage. Oh my Listen, gosh. If the news is not edifying you, if yes. the news isn't in alignment with what God said, if yes. the news yes. is making you question, making you doubt, making you fear, turn it off. Do away mm -hmm. with anything that is not causing that baby yes. inside of you to grow. And to yes, yes. Yes. There's so many things, ladies. We can go on for hours. <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad that we have an opportunity to connect after this. Yes. But there's so many things concerning it. So many things. Mm -hmm. One of the things, too, I think that's also very important when we're carrying that, that thing the Lord has given us is to our surroundings. We have to, like you just said, you know, um, sometimes we share things sometimes too soon also. And then we have that friend or whatever say, I, you really think the Lord told you that? But girl, that's just too big. You really think you can do that or you can pull it off? What we know is, first of all, it's not us. It's the Lord that's going to help us do it. That's but, right. So I think it's also, what do you feel? But I think it is also very important that people that we're connected to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here, um, and, and I've shared this with Annette before, yeah. and, and I'll share this with you, Claudine, and, and, the, and the, the viewers that are watching. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes what I found um, in my life is that God will send me before people who have um, huge destinies. Um, mm -hmm. They have large callings on their lives. And, um, and oftentimes they are already doing great things. Like the Lord has sent me to talk so many celebrities and mm -hmm. pastors. And, and mm -hmm. I kept wondering like, Lord, like these people already have it. You know, why? Why are you sending me to, to these seemingly great people? Yes. Um, but the Lord told me that that is, that is my assignment is to speak to people who have great destinies and people that the Lord wants to use, use in a huge way on this earth. These are the world changers of mm -hmm. the earth of the planet that God has me to speak to. And so when you, when you spoke about, you know, the big things, people doubting the big dreams and the, and the big visions, my God, if you do not get away from those people, because those very people is what the enemy is using to, to yeah. hinder the call of God from being made perfect in your life and being fulfilled in your life. You have to get around people that are going to speak to the Holy Spirit in you, because you know, God, I, I'm created for something more. I feel like I have something 
bigger, that you're calling me to do something big, but it feels kind of weird because the people around me, they're not on board with it. Mm-hmm. And the things that they say, it makes me wonder, like, am I just making this up? Is it just ego? No, the Lord says he wants to use you in a huge way. You are yeah. a world changer. And that is why he's bringing money to you. And, and, and speaking of, the Lord sent me with a message today, Claudine and Annette, to tell God's people that he is about to bless them so abundantly, so abundantly for the building up of his kingdom. Mm-hmm. Right now, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I pray everybody that this message is for, oh God, that you will send them to this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus, because God's people have been so deceived. They've been so deceived and they've been and so hurt, but God yeah. is coming to bring them victory. And attached to that victory is an abundance of finances for the building up of his kingdom. Get around people who are going to speak to what the Lord wants to do in and through you so that what the Lord wants to do on this earth will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. 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 Kwan, we're speaking this morning and you shared with me just a little bit about what the Holy Spirit wanted you to speak upon. And um, he also told you that there's some chains that he wants to break that's hindering us from prospering. So can you speak to us about that? Absolutely. So um, this morning when I went into my prayer closet, this song just hit me by Tasha Cobb's uh, Break Every Chain. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it it was just one of those moments where, you know, I'm going in my prayer closet and, and I'm expecting the Lord to speak. Well, before I can even kneel down, <laughs> kneel down properly, here this song comes, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. And so here are the chains that are keeping God's people in poverty. It is the chain of sin and wickedness. And, and the enemy throws this to God's people because sin and wickedness, it keeps the blessing away. It is the chain of low self-esteem. It is the chain of identity confusion because people were beaten, because they were abused, because they were talked down to. It has confused their identity And the Lord is trying to speak to them, but they can hardly believe it because they have a chain of confusion. Jesus. Mm. It's the chain of failure, thinking they tried, they tried, they gave it their best, and it didn't work out. And so now they think that it won't happen. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We are breaking that chain right now in the name of Jesus because you will get up again. You will get up again. You Mm -hmm. will. What happened in the past, the Mm -hmm. failures of the past, God Mm -hmm. said, I don't even look at it. Mm -hmm. Forget the former things. Mm -hmm. God has. I don't even look at it. Learn from it. Okay, don't connect with that person. Don't do this with the money. Don't do this. And now submit it to to the Lord. God, here it goes. And and let him take it and bring you into that new thing. Amen. Get up again. Get up again. The Lord is breaking chains. The Lord is breaking chains. Chains of theft. Things that the enemy stole. The Lord is saying, I'm unlocking all of this stuff and giving it back, giving it back to the children of God. Um, I feel like there is about to be such a wealth transfer and that the Lord is dealing with systems that have been put in place to oppress and keep God's people in bondage. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is saying, I am breaking it up. Amen. 
It is such a season right now for God's people. And, and anybody listening, I implore you by the spirit of the living God to just get in alignment with what he is doing in this season. The Lord told me to do like Ezekiel and prophesy to the dry bones. And those are the people who have been in the valley for so long that they have dried up and they think that the Lord can't do anything with them in this season, that they are done and that it's over for them. Well, the devil is a liar and I rebuke yeah. that spirit in the name yeah. of Jesus. And I yeah. prophesy to yeah. those dry bones and I decree and declare that you will live again, that you yeah. will do business again, that you will love again, that you will be a mighty soldier for Christ, just like you used to be in the name of Jesus. These dry bones, the Lord himself is breathing life into them. He is covering them with new skin. And when you arise this time, you will arise stronger, better, braver, more courageous, more wealthier than you've ever been before. They think they saw something back then, but the Lord is doing a new thing and it is greater than the former thing. It is more blessed than the former thing. As long as you have breath in your lungs in the name of Jesus, as long as you can get up and walk again, the Lord will use whatever is left. Even if it's dry bones, he will use it. He will tell them and command them to get up in the name of Jesus. Walk again. Be empowered in the name of Jesus. Whatever faith that is left. Even if it's just the faith of a mustard seed. Even if you can say, okay, God, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. But God, I, I somewhat believe he'll work on that. He'll work with somewhat. He'll work with, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. He will work with that. Give it to him and say, be it on to me by the spirit of the living God. Be it on to me because the Lord is breathing breath back into those dry bones, into those people who thought that it was over and that they went to the valley to die and they've already been making plans for their funeral. Oh no. Oh no. God is and you will live. You will live in the name of Jesus. And I don't know who Stephanie is. I don't know who she is, but I'm hearing Stephanie. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, whatever the Stephanie is, wherever the Stephanie is, I find, I pray that the Lord will find her, that Stephanie will find this broadcast in Jesus name. I hear the Lord saying, Stephanie, that you are going to heal. You are going to heal and you think that you went there to die, but the Lord is healing you and restoring you oh, for such a time as this, that he is going to use you in this season and that it's not over for you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 And Claudine, I know you wasn't expecting for me to come on here and prophesy to Stephanie. Oh. I don't even know who Stephanie is, but the Lord does. <laughs> the Lord does. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Broadcast you with you. Yes. Amen. Helen, we want to say a shout out to Helen. She said, powerful. Hey, Miss Helen. Good morning, Miss Helen. And Marvelin is here this morning. Amen. I agree. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is amazing and wonderful. Oh, Ooh, thank you, Jesus. And, there, and, then, and the Lord is speaking to me something about Philadelphia. I don't know if it's uh, Philadelphia as a whole, and and I rebuke New Age and and and, and people oh, that. That, that prophesy through psychic ability and all that nonsense, I am speaking by the Holy Spirit, yes. by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I am hearing Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I don't know if it's somebody in Philadelphia, somebody needs to move to Philadelphia, but whoever comes on this pro uh, broadcast, there's something about Philadelphia that the Lord has spoken to you and you know exactly what that is. And this is a confirmation for you. It's something that the Lord already spoke to you about Philadelphia. And this is a confirmation that his hand is on it. His hand is on it. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. The Lord is with you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. My God, we thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is always on time. 
Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I don't even know what to do or say. <laughs> God, we thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And this, I just want to add mm. that I was not always this big faith having, Jesus believing, prophesying, mm. hearing from the Lord type of a person. This, oh my God, the Lord did this work in me when I gave him my time. I was so busy trying to be everything for everybody, trying to make money and do business. When I got still, when I said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to trust you because I can sense that you're wanting to do something with me. And when I gave him my time and he walked with me, he led me. This is one of the main reasons why in this season, people wanting to be prosperous, people wanting to be wealthy, I'm going to be so bold as to say, you cannot do it with the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, the Bible says it is him that gives you the ability, the power yeah. to get yeah. wealth. Yeah, man. There is a power, there is an ability to get wealth. And it's not something that you could go to Harvard for. Mm. It's mm. something that comes from the spirit of the living Lord. Mm. So when you seek him first, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek him first. Claudine, Annette, this is the most prosperous I've ever been in my life. And the foundation of it, the foundation of it is Jesus Christ. That is the foundation of it. The Lord in this season has given me so many strategies. Mm. He's got in my back. Mm. He spoke to me about things financially that I didn't even know those type of accounts existed. Mm this is going to happen with the stock market. So don't put all your eggs in that basket. Do this, put some here, put some here. I didn't even know offshore accounts were in the Bible. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so government don't come at me. <laughs> wow. Wow. But I, but I, I say, I say that to say that there are so many people trying to do it in their own power. But when you get still, when you get still and know and trust God, you got me. He will begin to give you so much through dreams and visions, through songs. Like I said this morning, break every chain. That was yeah. a message of God through a song yeah. of Asha Khan yes. songs years ago. Yes. But it's still alive and active today. So, so, I implore you all, get still before the Lord. Trust him with your time. It, it's so interesting. I was sharing with Annette that um, I had an opportunity. This company had contacted me wanting to be a real estate developer. They're a company that develops gas stations. So they wanted me to develop gas stations on their behalf. Um, and it was a very lucrative opportunity. Um, but when I was pondering this, this opportunity, I went to Matthew when Jesus was talking to the disciples. One of the things that he said was the work, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers mm -hmm. are few. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the workers are few is because they're off tending to somebody else's field. Mm -hmm. so the field that, mm -hmm. that isn't godly given all their gifts and their talents, their skills and their abilities to the world that is just going to prostitute them and not yeah. giving it to the Lord, building up his kingdom and, yeah. and working for ministry, working in, in on assignments that are God given because the world will see our gifts. Mm -hmm. The world will see our gifts and, and want to use them right. for their kingdom. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Serve the king of kings. And he is saying he wants to use us to build his kingdom, his kingdom. 
And so I turned down the opportunity. It's, it's so interesting because one of the things that the guy said when he called me was, I really love your charisma. And the Lord was like, uh-uh, I'm using that charisma for, for my kingdom. Yes, yes. No, wow. sir, I got this. I got her charisma. Wow. I know exactly how to use her charisma. I yeah. know exactly where I'm going to use her charisma. There's um, some people, God knows exactly where he's going to use your gift of song. He knows exactly where he's going to use your ability to heal. He knows exactly where he, those dreams that you've been getting and, and they come true. God knows exactly where he's going to use that gift of prophecy. He knows exactly. Seek him. Seek him. And all these things will be added onto you. All the money, all of whatever, whatever. God wants people to be rich. Our God is not a broke God. Amen. There are the Garden of Eden. In Eden, God planted a garden. And anytime the Lord plants a garden, there's rivers near the garden because the rivers is what feeds the trees. People think that, you know, the rain from the sky feeds the trees. Well, somewhat, but it's mostly the rivers because a tree planted by the river will continue to suck yes. up water and moisture from, from the river. Yes. Um, so this river that God um, created in the book of Genesis, it, it split off into four distinct uh, individual rivers. Mm. And, and one of them was the river of Pishon. And I looked at that word because I, the way it's spelled and the way it's pronounced is very interesting. And I looked at that word in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. It said that this river flows through the, or the, the town of Havilah where there's a lot of gold. Mm -hmm. The name of the river, it means increase. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Increase. So here we are, a river representing provision, representing sustaining God, sustaining what he planted in this, in this land that is filled with gold and the water that runs through it is literally, it literally means increase. And that was from the beginning in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although we could speak a lot about the prosperity of God's people and the reign of God people, God's yeah. people revelation, but this was in the beginning. In the wow. beginning, Christians have gotten away from their true identity, mm -hmm. from their true identity in Christ. But the Lord is saying, I am stepping in and things are changing. And, and people that used to prostitute God's children, giving mm -hmm. them a little bit of crumbs, the Lord mm -hmm. said, no, I'm about to bring them over here and they are going to flourish and they are going to live abundantly because I am their God and I am an abundant God. Amen. Amen. Increase gold. That's a message. Wow. Yes. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I <laughs> just <laughs> Juan, I just thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, it just, you are so welcome. I was not expecting this, to be very honest. I was not expecting this. Uh, we always say, God, have your way, but I was not the way the Lord is using you. I truly i am so grateful. We needed to hear it. It was. It's time. It is time. Yes. It is time to learn to be still and know. It is time to seek him first. We always say we do, but do we really? Mm -hmm. Um. You said also just just give God your time. That is that that really stood out to me because some, you know we're always just so busy. We live in a busy world. We make ourselves so busy. But I think I shared with you all behind the scene that that's where the Lord has taken me to just really just spend time, spend that time, give up that time, and Amen. spend. Time. And it's such a blessed place to be in, Claudine. Yes. Because because the Lord is wanting to plant and water seeds, and He can't do that when people are busy. I remember I had a women's my actual my last women's retreat was in Thailand in January, mm -hmm. and I set everybody around the table and I gave examples of how to hear from God. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the main things that keeps us. Um, outside of the will of God is not hearing from him. And, and one of the main things that keep us not hearing from him is being so busy. 
being mm -hmm. so busy to the point that even when we get still, our minds are still going, our mm -hmm. minds are still in there, yes, toiling, you know, but just to be still, and, and that is a process. So some people feel like, well, God, why is this taking so long? It's because the Lord is trying to just get off all of the residue of the world. And he's trying to position you to be so powerful for the kingdom. And, and it can't happen unless you are still. So there are moments when the Lord will just dry up some things, dry up some things just so that you can get everything that he has for you, everything from him, everything from him so that he can speak to you and lead you and guide you into the next best thing. Because we go from glory to glory. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Okay. So God is not forsaken you when you're being still. God is not forsaken you when things are moving and shaking and popping how you want to. He is giving you what you need for your next best thing. Be still so that you can hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. And he will just download so many things to you. I never heard so much from God until I got still, until I got still. Now I can sense my, my discernment has been so heightened and, and elevated because I've been still and, and I've learned what that voice sounds like mm -hmm. uh, and, and differentiation between what the world sounds like and what the enemy sounds like mm -hmm. and what even my own ego sounds yes. like. Yes. So that comes yeah. by being still. You don't get that unless you're still. That's so right. begin to be still. -er. If you think you're still, mm -hmm. ask God, Lord, can I be still? -er? Is oh there God. something else that I need to do to be still in? Okay, I know I'm still in this area. But what are some other areas I need to be still in? Do I need to be still concerning my children? Do I need to be still and no concerning my children? Do I need to be still and no concerning my mother or my father or my cousins? Or do, what other areas do I need to be still in? Because I gave you this one part of my life, but what other areas do I need to give? Yes, yes. amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Annette is on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn's in the house. Hey, Carolyn. She said, Amen. She's our president of, of, of a glow. Yes. Georgia Glow. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Type in some things um, of what you need to be still er of if you would like to share. I, I need to be still er of everything. Yeah. <laughs> of, you know, like, uh, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna wear? Oh my God, just the basic and, you know, and the Bible says, don't worry about what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna mm -hmm. wear, what you, where you're gonna live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. He says, "Don't do not worry." So many times in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, still. We and do. that is one thing that you said. You know, he said that if I tell you to do something, you don't. That's being lazy. So mm -hmm. he told us not to worry. Mm -hmm. So, for me, <laughs> um, I need to be stiller. Wow. Jesus, thank you, Lord. And Miss Carolyn says distractions. I truly, I'm with Miss. Yeah, yeah yes. a lot of distractions sometimes that come in. Um, you're sitting here with the Lord, and the Lord is ministering, but then other stuff, you know, just yeah. Yes, oh absolutely. Goodness. And and sometimes um, we welcome those distractions. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, because we don't want to do the work anyway. <laughs> so true. So true. So true. It's true. I, the Lord had to speak to me about boredom mm. because I've gotten bored easily. Mm. When you're when you're walking with the Lord, you realize that it is not as exciting as TD Jakes makes it look. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not the 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 things of the Lord behind the scenes. So you see it when it shows up on yes. stage and when mm. the anointing falls on it. 
But behind the scenes, yeah, it can be boring. And, and sometimes we can welcome Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn said, for we real. Can <laughs> we, <laughs> we can welcome Facebook. We can welcome the cookies that's downstairs in the back of the pantry. And then, oh, we got to walk all the way upstairs. I might as well just sit on the couch right now. Eat all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. So for me, the Lord had to show me myself. He had to show me, you're only doing this because you're bored with the routine that I'm taking you through. Mm -hmm. Just be still. Just yeah. be still. Oh, God, it's so boring. How, how many times am I going to read this scripture? Mm -hmm. um, until you do away with that attitude. <laughs> yes. Until you fully yes. understand why I'm having you to do these things. Yeah. Until it becomes you. And then you can be my disciple and tell my children, yes, it gets boring sometimes. And the distractions will come, but stay the course, train yourself, train yourself, abide in me, stay the course, stay the course. And you'll never have to walk this path again. Let's overcome it. Let's overcome it. Because where I'm taking you, there's a lot of excitement there. But for now, do what I told you to do. Let me have my perfect will in your life right now. The excitement is coming. Strengthen yourself. Practice self-discipline. Where you're going, where I'm taking you, you need the discipline. Because so many things are going to come at you. So many offers are going to be given to you. Yes. That are yeah. offers that the Lord didn't send. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you need to be still. The other part of it is and know that I am God. Mm -hmm. And know, be still and know. Know that I am God, he says. Mm -hmm. Know that he's right there with you. Know that he is a provider. Jehovah Jireh. So if you are anxious about finances, be still and know that he's a provider. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that he has all the resources and he mm -hmm. is giving you victory. If you don't have it yet, that means you don't need it right now. Be still and know that I know what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. I'm right here in the midst of it. I got you. Despite what it looks like, don't focus on the storm. Be still and know. Mm -hmm. Be Amen. still and know. Be still and know. I am bringing you through. If you keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes on me. And, and oftentimes, Carolyn and anybody else watching, listening, oftentimes the distraction comes to take our eyes off of God. Yes, yes. To put our eyes on the cookies. Yeah. Which then puts weight on us that keeps our eyes on obsessing over our bodies. Yes. Yes. And that keeps our eyes on Instagram comparing ourselves yes. to Beyonce and whoever else. Yes. That's and true. that keeps us in a perpetual cycle. Yes. Yes. So going all the way back, just be still and know, because there is so much safety in being still and know. God loves us. God loves us so much. And he is preparing us. He is preparing us for the greatness that is coming. It is the Father's will to bless his children. It is the Father's will to bless us. That is, is in it. it's his will, but it's also a command. Mm -hmm. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. Have dominion and authority on earth. This isn't when we, when we get to heaven or even when we go to Mount Zion to rule and reign with Jesus. This is now. Mm -hmm. This was in the beginning. When God created everything for Adam, gave him everything and Eve, mm. and said, be fruitful, multiply, mm. fill the earth, 
Fill the earth with my buildings. Fill the earth with my resources, mm -hmm. with my love, with my kindness, with my money. Any king, any king, whether it's the king, the ruler in Abu Dhabi or Dubai or in India, kings in Africa, you can tell a king by the wealth of their kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is the king of kings. And I'm talking specifically to people who have a calling on their lives to prosper. God is the king of kings and you are an heir to the throne. Mm -hmm. The father is not going to leave you broke down, busted and disgusted in that valley. You won't be making the king look good down there. Mm -hmm. He wants to shine a light on people that can be a reflection of who he truly is. Mm -hmm. And the difference between us and the world is that God's glory is not on the world. Mm -hmm. So although they have the gold mm -hmm. and prosperity and, and, and it looks abundant over there, mm -hmm. they don't have God's glory. Mm -hmm. They don't have God's peace. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't have love of God flowing through them. They might have good works and be very philanthropic. Yeah. But it doesn't come from a godly place. It mm -hmm. doesn't come from God's power working through them. Mm -hmm. He is calling up Christians right now to invest in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The father has need for you. The father has need for you. Let him do his perfect work and will in you. Jesus. Right now, it might not feel good. Jesus. Right now, it might be uncomfortable. You might be struggling with being still and knowing, but finish the course. Let his perfect will be done because he is taking you to a place that you have never been before. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. What the Lord has for you, all of the blessings, all of the blessings, not just for you, but for everybody attached to you. Yes, everybody yeah. attached to you. Go mm -hmm. forth and prosper so that when you leave this earth, God won't say you are a lazy servant, but he will say, well done, thy good and thy faithful servant. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Kwan. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you for sharing what the Lord has been downloading into you as you have been still. Oh, gosh. There's just the spirit of stillness mm -hmm. and peace mm -hmm. and shalom. Wow. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your shalom. Peace. Oh, God. Thank you. Uh, to the viewers, <laughs> we hope that you have been blessed by Quan. Um, if you want to connect with her, here is her website, Quan Lene Green. She does have a book out as well. Go and check out her website, check out her book. As you have seen, she is going to speak a life into your life. Amen. Amen. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. Um, if you have been blessed by any of our broadcasts, please consider uh, sending anything to Cash App, uh, Douglas Villa Glow. It helps us to keep these shows coming to you. All of the proceeds go into, um, you know, keeping this show going every single week. Uh, we're here every when uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Tuesday. <laughs> 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we truly enjoy bringing you guests such as Kwan and just speaking life into your situations and just 
Mm -hmm. um, saying what the Lord is saying and just encouraging us week after week. Um, if you are one of those people that you feel like the Lord is stretching you, maybe unctioning you to, to get out there, he's saying that you are going to be the first and not the last. And he's encouraging and nudging you. Hey, I have given you a platform. I'm giving you a platform. I want people to hear my voice through your voice. Reach out to you. We encourage you to reach out to us. Um, here's our website. Uh, Douglas Villa Glow. If I can't find it. Dot org. Right there. At mm -hmm. gmail.com. Also, if you have any prayer requests, feel free, please. We, we pray for you all every single week. Um, email us with your prayer requests and we will email you back letting you know that we are definitely praying with you and we will um, contact you to see how things are going with you. Again, Kwan, thank you, thank you, thank you, you for so saying welcome. yes, yes to the you. Lord and to our invitation. Um, thank you so for having me. Thank you so much for having me. Y'all, uh, the Lord have been downloading this and putting it on me for so long. I just had to get it out. <laughs> I've, been, I've been putting it in the book, but I had to speak it. You know, the difference between writing and speaking. I, de I definitely appreciate the opportunity to share it. <laughs> yes, yo, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, in, so, in a way, you all have the manuscript that God gave me. <laughs> I, thank you, Lord. So honored. That's God. <laughs> did I miss anything, Claudine? No, that's it. You did. Okay. Miss. All right. So we will see you all next week, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube channel. We'll see you all next time. We love you all. Shalom. Shalom.